Of course. All right, so today we have a very special guest. Yes. A lot of you guys have been asking for women on the podcast and with a Hispanic or some Hispanic people speaking Spanish. So today we have Diana Mendoza on the podcast with us. All right, Diana. Welcome. Thank you and, for having me. And, and wait a second. Let me just you know say something. I mean, they've been asking, but it's not like we have not been bringing them on purpose. No, it has yeah, not been on purpose. I mean, uh, for for those of you who know, we we I've actually been talking to Diana for several months now. To yes, get her on here. Um, I think she has a different and a very unique perspective, uh, especially being homegrown from Miami. Um, but she had been doing work overseas That's with a show reality and star. Now she gave us finally the opportunity to come the, by. Well, I mean, listen, we're the lucky ones. <laughs> yeah, we're the lucky ones. <laughs> So, Diana, for those of you, for those of the people who uh, may not know you, tell me a little bit about, you know, you, uh, how you got started and and um, your history here in Miami and um, how you got into the entertainment or in the production uh, business. Okay, so um, many, many years ago, I was an elementary school teacher. Shout out to all the teachers. <laughs> yeah, Shout but out. here in Miami. Here in Miami. Oh, wow. That's, that's great. Cool. Yes. So, I taught first, second, and third grade. Um, but as we all know, teachers don't make enough. Right? And Miami's expensive. And Miami's expensive yeah. to top it off. Yeah. yeah. So being a mother of two lovely children, um, I decided to go into the acting world. Okay. And then slowly moved to the top and I came out with a idea of a reality TV show yep. where I get to travel with different beautiful girls and we actually get to demonstrate our personalities. And it's called Risque Business. Risque. 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 Yeah. Little risky. R-I-S-Q-U-E. Love yeah. it. Love it. And then business is B-I-Z-N-E-S-S. Okay. All right. And you can find it on Tubi, on Reveal, and other platforms. Yep. Roku, Apple TV. Okay. And um, how did this idea come about to uh, start your own reality TV show? Because as you know, that's not like an easy thing to do, you know, and you're dealing with a lot of personalities. Right. Well, so. and what and what does it entail? What is it? You know, give me a you know for the viewers to know how what what's <laughs> what does risque involve? What is it? What does it do? Well, I try to select girls that are in the adult world. Okay. Um, dancers, actresses. Um, or even influencers, All right. like the, yeah. sex, the sexy influencers yep. with their only fan pages. Yep. Yeah, I feel like these girls are labeled as sex. Yeah, and gotcha. I I want to give them an opportunity to demonstrate their real personalities on TV, not just in a sexy in a sexy way. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So I was gonna ask you a question. Going back to like the whole social media thing, I think social media has done like a lot of damage to. I think both men and women to a degree, okay? I think for men, it's kind of constantly showing you women. So you kind of get a numb to like it's over. You see women all the time on the, on the over and over and over. So yeah. it kind of, it turns into like a product, you know? And like it you're does. just seeing different things, always better and more and better. You're like, whoa. And then to women, I feel like they see a Kardashian or an athlete or a celebrity or somebody else who's looking pretty, they see 50,000 likes and 10,000 comments and the girls, you know, maybe not dressed too conservatively. So in their minds, they're thinking, okay, I need to put out content like that to get that type of attention from people. How has like social media shifted like your industry or even like just, you know, the way women promote themselves and market themselves in general? I mean, I agree with you. I, with my following base, I post a picture dressed like this. And I get maybe like a thousand likes. Yeah. I post a picture in a bathing suit with my ass out and I get a hundred thousand likes. Yeah. And it's like, why? Like, it's me. It's still me. Yeah. But I guess it's, it's, it's just the fact that they just want to see. Yeah. Well, but that's, uh, well, no, that's the same thing happens to us. Yeah. Much yeah. muscles. You know? yeah. like, well, well, this, that's that. what social media yeah. is all about. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and that's why the divorce rate has gone up. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. And, absolutely. And uh, I just finished watching the documentary with my wife on Ashley Madison. And it's on Netflix. Oh, and it's that? the Ashley Madison where people would sign up to have affairs. It was the the tagline was life is short, oh, got you, got have you. an affair. And they had a data breach. And the data was all I put out that. there. I and people that. committed suicide That's knowing that they were yes, going to. You have to yes. watch that show on Netflix. It. It's, yeah. in, it's three episodes only. It came out last week. Incredible. Incredible. And they talked a lot about like the divorce rate and why people are like this. That people usually are in a relationship. They love their wives. They're happy. 
but they just want to have some type of risque business oh, on the side. There it you know? is. Well, you're there not watching. There it is. You know? <laughs> there there it is. Risque there it is. But this is why we have the reality show. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You can watch it together. You can watch yeah. it together. So you can watch like, it together. And most people like, and have a good those, imagination. Yeah, but most couples they don't, they don't want to. They don't like to communicate those type of like desires and things. You know. Uh, you're right. You yeah, know? that's true. That's it's why like, communication is key. Key. Yeah. Yeah. key. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes they say que felices son los cuadros. You know. So yeah, yeah that's well, true. Maluma said it. Yeah, so, so most most I, I saw online most people uh, for whatever reason think that you were born and raised in Cuba. No, so you were born and raised in Miami. <laughs> I'm a Miami girl, but you're, you're a, a proud girl. Cuban girl. I am. I you're am a Cuban. proud Cuban. Roots. Like I get Cubans from that were born in Cuba. Tell me, oh, tú eres una gringa? No, I'm not. I'm yeah. not a gringa. That's yeah. just on paper. Right. I have your same culture, your same taste of food, your music, everything. So you're used to the lechon and noche buena. Yes. Yeah. yeah that's, that's, lo, oh. lo, Even the most Americanos yeah. are doing the lechon in Miami already, man. Come on, that's uh, whatever. Negro, arroz, Absolutely. Maduro. But listen, before we continue, I I really want to get into this. So you know, where, where the episodes are, where now? Where can you see um uh, risque? We can um, see it. You said on. on you could just Google. Google it anywhere, Google but you it. could see it on Tubi. No. Okay. All right. So give me more or less an episode, uh, just a little sample episode. Is it, you know, uh, videos, music videos? <laughs> very, no, wait, very, I'm very... going to talk to you about episode four. Oh, there you go. One, yeah. I feel like that one has been everyone's favorite until now. Okay. I guess everybody likes drama. So, yes. so drama sells. It's I called mean, reality like TV. Too, reality TV. Okay. So I decided to pick... Um, Three girls to go with me to Mexico. Okay. So since the beginning of the trip, social media gets involved. Yeah. And I have more followers than you, and I'm more famous than you. Entonces están con los shots de tequila. Entonces entra, you know, and they start getting fresca with each other. Of course. And then you have, like, the one that doesn't stop, and it's there, and it's there poking until we get to Mexico. And then the, on the second day, these girls... Attacked each other physically. No way, and that wasn't yes, planned. Did. No, that was not planned. Oh my god! <laughs> but that, but okay. So then that 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 really is that question. You know, when you watch the reality yeah. television world, that and and I'm the first one that I say, Coño, this has to be scripted. Yeah. Some of the stuff because I say sometimes, and this is God honest truth. Sometimes I tell my wife, imagine if they want to come and they ask us, you want to be in reality TV? I go, bueno, que aburrimiento, because what what are we gonna supposed to do? What are we gonna right. do? We gotta look. Pick a fight with somebody yeah, like, we're just hey, chilling. why are you looking at me? So, I, I saw you something, but then what you're just telling me now makes so much sense that you just, because... The uh, ego's getting involved. Yeah, and before right. camera, you you were telling me, you were telling Manny, some of these people, you just met them, you bring them on, and you meet them the day actually at the airport. So then they come on in, and then it sees people already with, uh, with the attitude like, yeah, I'm here, but I'm... More famous yeah. than you, just an FYI. Right. Or, or and, and there's some that they're very humble and nice and, you know, that I'm here to work with you. I, I hope that we collab and we do other projects. And, you know, right. they have that positive vibe. But, you know, it's hard to find girls that like girls and work That's together true. peacefully. That is very difficult. Yeah. Very yeah. difficult. Yeah. So I then a whole... Bro- I'm, there wasn't I love- a competition. There wasn't a competition. There was no competition. It, 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 so a so full, a full bra, a full yeah. bra. Just I I have, my show's not scripted, so whatever happens there, it really happened there. A mí yo no me voy a poner ahí para que me metan una galleta and know that it's coming. Because yeah. yeah. I'm going to be like, I'm yeah. going yeah. to yeah. We're not into this. Here, go ahead. You're not one of like, wait, give me a second. Take off the earrings. <laughs> right. No, no, no. You're not that. Okay, okay. I like it. No, no. no. I mean, if it comes down to that. No, we have to. You have yeah. to defend yourself. But, we're the, Cuban. Start, but at the end of the day, I do now think that I'm going to have to watch Episode four? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or do I start by episode one? No, start by episode one so you get the point. Okay, 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 okay. So, but now you're doing season two you're going to start working on. I'm going to start working on season two. That's and, awesome. And now, like, I assume you've had problems in season one that you're like, okay, let's not have this happen again. And you're implementing in season two? Or how's, like, your approach for the season two? Are you bringing over the same girls? I, I too, would, I would like to give an opportunity to have girls come back, but I like to bring different group of girls yeah. because I feel like in other shows yeah. when it's always the same girls again and again and again and it's like okay what could possibly happen on the next episode like right. what is it que va a pasar or what's being repeated again so I feel like with new faces you get new stuff that you don't even know what's gonna happen so yeah and when you guys are like off camera do you guys actually like hang out and, and go to you know just like having like a dinner together and stuff or is it like always like everyone to themselves it happens both ways yeah. there's girls that want to chill and there's girls yeah. that are like I'm not up for it I quiero costar más dos mil because they're lazy some of them are lazy and some of them 
Um, they rather sleep in and not be on top of their shit. So yeah, well, maybe I think the ones from episode four didn't want to go out to dinner after that incident. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> bueno, actually, on another night that yes. we went to oh, have dinner. See, I love it. I love it. Next, go ahead. I'm More drama. Right here, no, no, no. I'm sitting right here, and they're both sitting right there, and yeah, I'm just eating my yeah. pasta, and I'm just staring at these girls, and they were like sticking their tongues down their throat. So I'm like, how do you just fight and then kiss each other? But they made up. They That's made cool, up. Man. Like, No, no, I'm definitely watching episode four. <laughs> <laughs> That is a definite yes. show. Nobody's going to forget about it. We're going to jump and yell at you. What minute was that at? <laughs> fast forward. Fast forward. Fast forward. Fast forward. Listen, but to your point, I mean, half of those. That, listen, it's what makes the show. Right. It, I mean, I get it. entertained. <laughs> I, I mean, listen, it makes the show. I mean, again, going back to my first thing, how boring would it be if you just say, or oh, everybody together, hey, how are you? Great. How was dinner? Great. You know. And a little toes. Yeah, yeah. you know, toes. Like, you know, what? you want somebody, what, bitch? No, ah, yeah. You, you know, want? what? You know, when well, you look Kardashians, at all. Kardashians, look how much money they've made off that, you know. No, but that's a total. Yeah. They started off, so, you know. With those yeah, that's another story. That could be, that's fighting. another podcast, another thing. Because, yeah, for me, that one's already. That already has to get to a point of oh, scripted. Because you just can't be, well, you could be kind of fucked up because I think that she's having so much problems now with, yeah. with what's his name, with Kanye, you know? But so, I think that, right. like, at well, that I, point, it has to get to a level that the reality TV show, like, life has to get to you personally, you know, when you have cameras around you all the time. Like, how long were you guys out there for? I mean, every trip is different, but we try to do anywhere from five to seven days. Oh, okay, depending. so that's not that much. That's no, not no. That, that steep. Well, and, you're, and, you're, and how many episodes are you cranking out in five to seven days? Two to three. Two to three. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's good. But so. okay, so what time the cameras start and stop, more or less? Well, cameras start as soon as we open our eyes. Okay. Oh wow. So, so, okay, got you. Right. So again, five or it's seven not days. Not the fake stuff. It's like real. Like, hey, you're awake and the camera's on you. Like, camera can be on you at any time. At any time. Okay, got you. At any time. So you can be in the bathroom peeing and someone breaks in. You can't. Bueno, pero tampoco. No, I think see. Tampoco. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, Eddie went from here to here. No, <laughs> I mean, but the thing is, that, think about it. From five to seven days. Okay, you wake up. It's a lot of film hours. And, and you film. I mean, it gets to the point that. You know, you get a little bit tired of this. Yeah. But to that point, that's where you see so many. Where you, let's go back to what you said a little bit a while ago about divorces and stuff like that. That's yeah. where you see so many of these reality people. Listen, I'm not a big reality person, but I can't tell you. I'd be a hypocrite if I tell you I'm not at home sometimes. And, you know, I'm just switching channels and I'll see something. A mí me encanta ver el tormento de Barajuste. Especialmente the Atlanta housewives. Esa, because those people, those, those people don't play. They don't. Those people no, don't play. I'm not a big fan of reality. No, no, but that, no, no. Those for me, those don't, yeah. those don't play. Yeah. Beverly Hills and all that, even though it's, you know what? Ah, that's like, you know, oh, you know, screw you, you know, but it's very, very puff puff. Yeah, you very, know, the, very buttoned The Atlanta up. people, they go after each other. <laughs> pulling weaves. No, no, <laughs> pulling everything. Where, you, know, bah, yeah. you know, bottles cracked. What? You know, so, but when you see all this, you say to yourself, it gets to a point that you see so many of these people have had problems and they, after all this is gone and done, bankrupt. Yeah. Um, uh, end up in divorce because you get so caught up in that world you that yeah. you know now you feel kind of like oh I'm not important anymore you know because the cameras aren't following you yeah you 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 know what I'm talking about yeah you know so it, it's something like you know you feel left out and yeah. and so I don't know does this happen you know these are to your point in the risque thing there's a lot of girls that have been in different industries and then they say okay wait because I'm I'm more famous than you. Right. I, I, when it comes to our time, um, I mean, the cameras are on right. when we wake up, but we also have like our, our moment to ourselves where we can make phone calls, gotcha. and, you know, talk to our kids or significant others, whatever. Um, I guess it's just the way you plan yourself. Like if you pick from this day to this day, I'm going to go work, but then I have three weeks out of the month to give to my family. You just got to like plan yourself. Right. You're going to balance it out. Right. So um, to that point we were talking about earlier, uh, what advice would you usually have for someone um, that if they want to have, uh, you know, th th they want to get into the entertainment industry and they want it to have like longevity and, they, you know, get maybe into production or something along the lines, like do they need like an entrepreneurial spirit or do you see most girls like that? Or is it kind of like they think this is never going to end and they just keep going and going and going? I feel I see in most cases I see that these girls think that they're gonna end up doing this a whole lifetime and this is gonna be it. 
Wow. Because they're making a lot of money. So yeah. I'm thinking you're saving money buying property. Right. Or at least investing in somewhere else. That's what I just said a little while ago. Right. Because you when, you, when you're 50, it's not when you, you're not going to look like you were in your 20s. Yeah. yeah. And aquí, vamos a hablar la verdad, los hombres le gustan, tú sabes, la jovencita. Yeah, yeah. But... I don't know. I guess the, I, I've always been the type of girl that I don't like to have um, my same eggs in the same nest. Yeah, so. very, very important. Very important. I feel that that's but not everybody thinks that way. Yeah. So like, what do you think about like, what do you say to like these like the opposite now where you see girls that are like 15, 16, 17, you know, they're pretty girls and they're not even looking at school or anything anymore. They're looking like, oh, I'm going to get into OnlyFans. Like, my, my, my plan is just being OnlyFans girl or something. I was like, well, you know, I mean, you're you're saying this, but this is reality. Because, yeah. like, my kids are already in high school. And um, I have a daughter. And she tells me, Mom, there's girls in school that speak about having an OnlyFans, OnlyFans. Yeah. once they're legal. Yeah. But, I mean, I tell her all the time, like, that's not it for you. Like, don't, yeah. don't let that cross your mind. Over my dead <laughs> body. <laughs> so, okay, so... <laughs> Listen, it, what is what is what is that? I mean, what is what's a going rate for that? I mean, you have to be a very. I mean, because I I keep on reading. I no, mean, no, no. But listen, OnlyFans is is the a, capital of Miami. Like we that's about. what I was Miami. gonna say. Miami is the capital of OnlyFans, and that's been you know proven. And all those buildings in Brickle are all filled with OnlyFans girls yes. paying those four or five thousand dollar rents, right? If you want to understand how OnlyFans work, it's basically a subscription base. You Correct. You go on, yeah. you pay X dollars a month, and then you can pay extra fees in order to pay for something else. Right, to but be done. it's only OnlyFans. I mean, with things that like I've seen, what's this girl? I mean, I see, here we go back to the reality housewives. I keep on always when I hear the ones of Miami, you know what I'm saying? Which is not my favorite. Larsa um, yeah. Yeah. That they always say that, what's her name? Larsa, that yeah. she does, all she does is just show her feet. Yeah, but you can do whatever That's you want. That's a feet fetish. Yeah. yeah, but she says that she makes thousands of dollars just for people wa- wanting to see yeah, her but feet. Yeah, but it's not just showing your feet. I mean, when when you show your feet, you're going to show your feet with different nail polishes. You're going to show your feet maybe okay. dirtied in whipped cream and other things. Got you. Oh, wow. Um, I didn't think about that. You see, that. but that's why, this is why I ask these That's tough crazy. questions, Eddie. That's crazy. <laughs> I didn't, I, I it's mean, not I, like, I, let me just take my foot out. Here that's you what I, I thought it was you're walking. Just, you I mean, know. you can, but there's more to it than just taking pictures and videos. There's also, there's also foot jobs, you know, where you have right. like a dildo or the actual oh, wow. thing. And then like, it's like the feet on it. So then they envision that. Right. You know? So yeah, we yeah. really don't know if that's what she's doing. I don't know. But right. No but idea. at the same time, I mean, because listen, one episode, I'm not going to forget. She was saying she was making like $10,000 uh, a day. Yeah, but are you talking about a girl? Correct. That's that on she's, a reality TV got show. Got you. Yeah. Right. And she's Pero, known as an ex, you know, wife of a big Right. Like those are mean player. girls. Those are mean yeah. girls. But yeah. like if, you, if you're going to go get a girl, like for example, that works at a, at a, at a strip club. And, right. and her name is not out there. She's really not going to make that amount. That, that no, amount. Not going to make that amount of money. Right. It's all the marketing, you know, right. the marketing right. behind it and, and your audience. Okay. But the thing is that these you have these young girls now who are you know nineteen, seventeen, eighteen. They're just really pretty girls. Yeah, but what, at, what, at what age can you get into OnlyFans? Eighteen. Eighteen. 18. Plus. 18. So they probably don't have like a big parental figure, father figure, or something like that. Or maybe they need money, and their parents are not like I've seen girls who have great parents. Pero los padres no están en el mundo ese. So they right. have no idea. And they're on OnlyFans, you know, and they're mm-hmm. making, you know, ten, fifteen thousand dollars a month, you know, or t- eight, whatever the case is. Yeah. Just putting up videos and pictures. Now, know? I already paid for both of my kids' colleges, and that's where you're going after high school. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that, that's, that's good. That's good. And, and, and it's like, it, I remember OnlyFans was coming up under a lot of fire at one point, and they said they were going to sell or they were going to shut down the platform. I believe that they did. I, they, they didn't shut it down, but I believe new owners came in. And if I'm not mistaken, they're Christian. So, they, like, this whole sexuality thing yeah. is not part of their world. So, they changed a lot of rules and regulations but when they i believe when they saw their money coming down they said they said no no no, yeah. no. <laughs> they said lord forgive me <laughs> but we're going back we're going back to the original platform yeah. but uh, it's crazy how only fans has changed the industry dramatically because at one point you needed to have i mean you probably know you need to have a manager or somebody on um, uh, you know finding opportunities right. for you and stuff yeah. right and at this point, you go just so what is to it? the consumer. It, it's the same thing. I mean, you had the you, you eliminated the middleman. Yeah, you eliminated the middleman. That's what you did. Most of the girls that I've I've spoken to, or some of the girls that I've taken on the show, they're influencers, and they um they rather just do OnlyFans than actually do a movie because they get more money this way than yeah. 
Bueno, and, and if you think about it, at the end of the but, day, but, it's but, something but, that they control. Right. You work at the time that you want yeah. with the person that you want, yeah. and you're getting really good money for it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We've had some cases where, like, we were surprised at people we knew that were, uh, you know, a part of that. That was pretty intense. Yeah. That's another program. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, you know, oh, you, can't tell, you can't say this in front of me and not tell me. No, I can't no, tell you. I can't say that. I'll tell you. Our buddy. producer will not be happy. <laughs> yeah. All right. So something that I asked you earlier, which is, uh, it's, I mean, it, it's pretty funny to me. I think, um, or it's interesting to me. Uh -oh. But you're out in the streets. You're in public. Do you ever have fans go up to you? And if so, like, what's been maybe like your most awkward encounter? Or how do you kind of feel about people going up to you and saying, hey, Well, well, I mean, when somebody comes up to me and they recognize me, I already know what they're doing at home. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I never recognized. So her. when they when they have made that to me, I'm they're like, cooking uh -huh. point uh -huh. wine. <laughs> 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 yes, <laughs> but the thing is that um, I guess like it's it's a different approach. Like some people hold themselves back because I get like a lot of emails or like DMs and be like, hey, I saw you here, I saw you there, but I didn't want to come up. That's so I weird. guess it's like an awkward situation. Yeah. yeah. But I've had people that be like. Is that you? Because I guess like the difference between the makeup, like yeah, on yeah. camera, and like me being more natural, but, like, but yeah. and I'm like, yeah, it's me. So and they're like, well, oh it depends God. what they're concentrating on. Too, exactly. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, but have you ever had like, a scenario where someone says something like, you're like, okay, like get away from this guy, but this guy's crazy. Yes, I've had, I've had, um, bueno. especially when when I've done my my hosting at clubs. Yeah. Like, you get, the, like, the most weirdest people. Okay, I'm like, oh, my God. Like, what's going on here? There are really weird people in this world. Though. In the world? Yeah. I mean, Miami just, you know, is 60% of it. I mean, but anyway. So going back to something we were talking a little while ago. When you host a lot of these parties, when you were talking about, you know, you've got some famous people there, right? you yeah. got a whole bunch of famous people. Absolutely. So Eddie and I were trying to uh, uh, calculate more or less, like, you know, not, without mentioning names, because we don't want to mention names of, like, maybe somebody that was there when you were hosting a party, that they closed down the whole place, right? Right. You know, so we're always calculating what's a spend in that night, like those people spending. Like, you I'm know, thinking clothes. they're dropping like a mil, but I guess, you know. I no, know no, but we were, you, I think you were too high on that one. I think you were a little <laughs> bit too high on a mil. I would go with a hundred or two. hundred thousand? Yeah. hundred thousand they're dropping in a night? Yeah, yeah. A couple hours they're there? Well, with yeah. all the friends and everybody yeah. and just the Eso music. Lo que yo, lo it's video like a party. Yeah. 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 But those yeah. are the videos that I see online with the garbage bags and girls just funneling yeah. money into the garbage bags. Well, yeah, but sometimes, is it twenties or dollar bills? All um, it's all a mix. It's a mix of really? numbers. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because I feel like all these guys go there with, you know, all with Bro, the wall of money, right, but it's all a dollar bill. So, so you're hosting these clubs. The girls that are there working, what's like an average that one of those girls will make in a night? Like a good night. A that, good night, I would go with maybe one or two thousand. Two thousand dollars a night? Yeah. And they're working, what, like three days a week, four days a week like that? Like good nights. I, I believe that the, the good nights for these girls would be Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, the regular ones. Yeah. yeah. Boom. I mean, I, I, so I truly, you I thought it was making, a little bit more. You could be making twenty, thirty thousand dollars a month. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, easy. Yeah. That's good money, man. That's no, depending on the club and location. Yeah, that's good money. Yeah. Well, good money. I mean, uh, I, I mean, listen, it, it, it's, 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 it's what it. The word says it. You know, yeah. this sells. Yeah, sex sells. You it's know, what I'm saying. Number one. And, and number appeal one. sells. Number appeal one. sells. There was, there, there was something that like there was three things that when there is a recession never goes away, and it's alcohol. Yeah, cigarettes. Yeah, all no. that goes up, and 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 babies are born. Yeah, <laughs> during the yeah. event during COVID, oh, those three, those please. three things sold. Skyrocket, sold. Skyrocket. Only fans blew up. Yeah, oh. only fans blew up. Yeah. Liquor stores were bored. Every, yeah, people. Am I, am I, am I, they're all bored at yeah. home. You know? I mean, am I, you know, say no more. Say no more. No, say I no mean, more. but I think mm -hmm. it even it made couples even stronger. Yeah. I think, honestly, for my relationship, I miss it. It was fun. I had a great time with my so? wife. I really? had a great time well, with I mean, my no, wife. No, no. But I, I heard that a lot of people were A like, lot of people got divorced. Yeah, because yeah. they were up to each other's necks. It was each too other. many times. Yeah, too, too much, much time Well, together. because it shows you, it shows you the sense of, like, the world we live in. You know, especially if you have kids and all that. Everybody wakes up in the morning. Everybody has a responsibility. You go, you come, and you come home. And then people say, wait a second. Now I got to be with this person, what? Every 24 hours a day, no, you know, that, yeah. that's what I was saying. Then everything, you know, you start, everybody gets to, I, I tell you, if you pass the test of COVID as a couple, you should be good. good. Yeah, you're good. So 
Shout out, love. We're good. We're good. We are good. <laughs> you, you passed plenty tests already. I, I, we're good. We're good. I had, you know? No, I hadn't been married yet. I got married last year. Listen, all you had to do was do, you know, exciting things. You go ride bike. You did but this. I keep you myself did entertained. You know, I keep myself yeah, you got to get out of the house. Yeah. You got to get out of the house, you know. You know COVID right, or no so, COVID. So being a Miami girl. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Uh, what are your top <laughs> Here we three, go. like, go-to spots to have a nice meal where no one's going to bother you? You're like, okay, I'm going to enjoy this meal. I'm going to go to my... What's your three favorite restaurants? Well, I love my food. So, Miami would, girl, Miami yes, girl. Yes, I'm going to go with right now, my spot would be Mojitos on East Street. Okay. okay. I haven't been, but Manny says it's good. No, I haven't. But no, I, I've been. To, I, there's more than one, isn't there? No, I or, think that one's That's the only Mojitos? one that no, I, I don't think it's that one I didn't go to. Yeah. I went to one, but it was in, in Pembroke Pines. What is it you like about it? I just they they cook really good. Okay, like good really Cuban good. food. Yes, good yes. Cuban food. Okay. And then they have like a little live band where they play Spanish music. Okay, That's nice. It's okay. a li- nice little vibe. It's yeah. a little, it's a family oriented spot. I like okay, those. yeah, I always support the. So, but pop. again, good Cuban food. Yeah. Yes. You know, I, so number one, mojitos. Yeah. Number two. Well, I love pizza. Okay. <laughs> Don't say it. No, no, she is. I wanted to say, say it, it. but She's I wanted to say, say it. I wanted to say it because I love this. I love this. This is this is a first. Yes, this is gonna be good. But yes. you have to you have to like pizza, pasta, right. la cremita de queso, yeah, right, right. Like the right. garlic bread. I, I get I'm you. gonna go with um polo norte. Ooh. Right, right. So then again, when she, we were talking about this, I go ri- this is going to be so good because at the end of the day, we've had a lot of people here with the best pizzas and everybody tells you about, oh, the one in Miami Beach, yeah. the one in in, in, in Puerto Norte. This, this is your authentic Cuban-American girl. Yes. Polo Norte pizza. That's a Cuban pizza. Yeah. It's yeah. una pizza. Which, by the way, pizza my cubana. wife loves that Cuban pizza. She loves it. Yeah. She, oh, she loves see? race pizza. Race, yeah. Race She's a fanatic for race pizza. Well, batido, mami, race yeah. pizza well but again, you see. I like that's... batido de trigo. That's right. my thing. Well, that's but, my yeah. second one. Yeah. Yeah. So your third go-to spot. <laughs> we did pizza. <laughs> I don't think I have one. <laughs> oh, so we got to get her out there, somebody then. <laughs> Mojitos en Polo Norte. We got to get her out there. Mojitos en Polo Norte. So you're, what are your three right. spots? No, no. You're hanging out at home. You're ordering Uber Eats. What are you ordering? Here's the third spot. Okay. That, yeah. But... I'm not cooking tonight. Well, I have kids, so I'm going to go with Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A? Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's a, okay, you got, that's, that's, good. that's a, that's yeah. a must. That's, that's a, a must. must. Um, that's a once a week or in my house. <laughs> my three spots. Man, that's hard, you know? No, no, don't. I, I'm not going through that. I, my three I spots. Can't. I'm thinking of where I've been I, eating. Um, you know, like a place is always very consistent for me is I have to put it up there and it's been a long time. Dr. Limon. Like, I love Dr. Mong. They have good ceviche. They have multiple locations. I know the chef, Chef Carlos, very, very well. Okay. Uh, Italian pizza. I have to go. We know where you're going to say. I brothers, know where you're going to say. Two Brothers Pizzeria. It's in Kendall. I'm a Kendall boy. So, yeah. Um, I have to go out there. And I would say number three, and this is maybe not something very popular because it's kind of like oh, mainstream, but here in the Gables, I got to give it to Hillstone. It's just the consistency. Oh, that's consistency also. Yeah, over yeah. and over. It's just always Hillstone good. is the place that yeah. you go, like, when you oh, what do I do, what do I do? As, as long as you can get in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, get there call, on time. you call Uncle Manny. Uncle Manny, get me in, please. You know please. what I'm saying? So, no, 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 don't be calling me to get into Hillstone. <laughs> do not. Do not be calling me. But that's 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 a given. That's, that's, that's and a you, given. what are your what? top three? No, 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 no. no. I'm actually interested. He I'm never going to do that. You that's... were just laughing at me No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I mean, I just, because I would never, we were talking off air before. We were talking about pizza and everything because I'm a pizza lover. But at the same time, when she just threw at me, she goes, Polo Norte, I'm like, Really? You know, I had never been introduced to Polo Norte. Nothing against it. I had never been introduced to Polo Norte. And I think that we ordered it at a friend's house. And I was like, what is this? And they go, no, it's Cuban pizza. Cuban pizza. You know, and then and you, how you talked about Ray's. Y también, the other one you told me about. Monte de Oca. Monte de Oca is like one of that, the originals, that closed by down, the way. No? It did, I think, it did. Yeah, I think it he did. Down. But he was one of the originals, if I'm not mistaken. There. But you know what? It's the same food. It's so Harry's. Like they, right now. What is it called they now? They just changed. I don't know what it's called now, but I feel like they just changed the name. I never went through the Monte. But again, I don't know who was more original, and 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 maybe you guys, you can you know, so write us and tell us. But tell us, I don't know if it was Monte de Oca or Ray's Pizza. All right, but you can't get away from this right now. Your top three spots. I'm not spots. gonna get away with it because I am not gonna tell you because I just okay. Don't so really just have. tell me a pizza place you would recommend me to go to. Tell me. Imagina that do. 
pizza. La pizza. And made, I, well, I love, I like. La I, pizza in South I Miami love, is like, phenomenal. Yeah, I yeah. love la pizza. But again, it's a pizza you have to, for me, you have to eat it you there. You have to eat it there, yeah. I mean, I order it sometimes at the house. I live near and it's okay, but it's not the same. I mean, there's, it, because that's your authentic you know, Italian, you know, wood yeah, stove. Super good. Super, super good. Finita. I'm, I'm, Napoleon. Yeah. Napolitana. Style. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, style. I mean, again, and I still haven't been to all the, we rate so many pizza places. Yeah. I haven't been to the one in, what's, a, my, what's the, no, uh, but the other one? Seeing, they've given me like the urge. We had this guy Burger Beast here on. Well, that, saw, that's another thing. That was no? spectacular. No. Oh, my God. That guy yeah. was a brain with everything. And yes. shout out to him. Y cabrón este me hizo un list. The top 25 burger spots yes. that he recommends nice. yearly. And I got an itch the last week or two. And to I've go been and explore. Them out, and I've gone to three or four of them already. Yeah. My, my wife is already like, well, no more burgers. No, no more burgers, burgers please. Yeah. <laughs> because it's like we're heavy yeah. and, I'm and we're going to cruise next week. You know? Yeah. No, no. Which is, honey, you'll <laughs> yeah. be back with them. So I'm looking out. like a rueda already. You know? <laughs> like, but I'm like, bro, I wanted to go try that. She put them on the list. I'm like, yeah, you guys made me want to go try them. And, and did you try them? Were yeah. they good? They were phenomenal. Yeah, phenomenal. Well, but, uh, you want to share? Yeah. Because I gotta take my daughter for that because you know yeah, her thing is her thing is burgers. Yeah. It's so the obsession, you know, I want burgers. But anyway, to to close out. So what is what do you have in the future going on? Uh, what's your next level uh, now? As like uh, you know, I know you're moving more into the entrepreneurial space. Yes. And uh, tell us a little bit about what do you have coming up in the next in the next couple months. Well, in the next couple of months, I'm gonna be shooting a season two. Okay. Here, in Miami, or where are you gonna be shooting? No, I'll be traveling all around the world. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. I've done episodes here in Miami. Okay. And the, they'll be in season one. But season two, we're going to be flying out. Nice. Okay. Is there any particular places or? Um, Turks and Caicos. Oh, love it. Maybe China. Oof. Okay. Thailand. Turks and Caicos is one of my favorite but how do you how do you balance your life then like between, you know, motherhood, production, you know, you know, running the business, entertainment, and then, you know, motherhood. And even if you have, like, a significant other, like, how do right. you balance all that out? Um, I, I guess it's just organizing myself. and Very um, carefully. Very, very carefully. Uh, I try to go. I look at the school calendar, and I'll be like, oh, mira. Got you. Esta semana tienen teacher planning day, or esto lo, you know, like, spring break, or the two weeks off in Christmas. And then I kind of, like, pick those um, times off from school to go to, like, the farther places. Got you. So I, I coordinate myself around their schedule. And when you get back, out. you're done. Works you out. get back, you don't want to hear from those women anymore, right? I know. You know, you know, no. you're, you're done. You're done. You're concentrating on your family. Like, where's my child? kids' voices? Like, yeah. <laughs> where's the dog barking? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> reality, though, good reality. Yeah, good reality. Man. I can only imagine being in yeah. like trapped with like. They say that the Chinese sign, that for trouble, yeah, is two women under one house. Yeah. Like the actual sign okay. of their language. So good look at them when you go to China. I am, I am. Trouble is two women under one roof. There you go. It's pretty interesting, huh? It is. Yeah. Somebody told me that. Okay. All right. Well, now we know was it in China or? Uh, no, it was a friend here when I think I was trying to like. <laughs> <laughs> Diana, a pleasure so much having you here. Thank, Thank you for oh, having God. me. But listen to me. We want you back for season two. Season Absolutely. For the next season. Yeah, yeah. But you cut the good part when I say I want her back here for the next season. Well, no, you're still rolling. Okay. No. Did we get that? Okay, we're good. That's good. Okay. No, that's what I want. Go, go, go. Eh? No, but we got it. So, yeah, just like do like outro, so you guys like kind of like... Okay, no, so... Okay, ready? Yeah, go. Okay, so... <laughs> all right, so for next season, we want you back. So we can do a little teaser That's of what's going the, on with the next the one. fall season. No, especially... Yeah. I want to see what happens in Turks and Caicos. Please check your bags before you go to Turks and Caicos. If we go to Turks and Caicos. Okay, but check your... You know what? <laughs> check your bags. I hope you're not a hunter. Because look what's been going on with the people over there that they left some um, bullets from a hunting trip. Oh, wow. In their in their in their luggage, uh, and they've been trapped for a hundred days. <laughs> no that's way! Yes, yeah, so, yeah. They they were going to do a trial and everything. They were facing twelve years in prison oh in Turks God. and Caicos wow. because they have a no nonsense policy. Or they're a, forget about having a gun. It's that you can't even have bullets. So right. the guys were hunters, and they had just gotten back from a hunting trip. I think I don't know where. And they changed. You know what? You they know, from been? clothing, and they went in and they left the Turks and Caicos, and they found like. Three or four little bullets. I bet you if they were Hunter Biden, they wouldn't have that problem. Oh, okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, he came out on Ashley Madison. Bro, and I was like, bro, they got his emails in there and stuff. No, and but, but at him. the end of the movie, they said, 
Hunter Biden denied being on any of the lists. <laughs> yeah, of course. So does Charlie Sheen, probably. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Diana. Bueno, Diana, pleasure. thank okay, you, my thank love. Thank you so much. Great episode. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. <laughs>